Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Welcome to a special episode of Herb Oracle, Angelic Herbs here at Ho. All right, you guys. Yo, hello. Sorry I was a monster yesterday. Um, If you tuned in to the Friday Pick a Pile, you may have noticed I was a little bit of a bitch. Um, I was downright nasty, rude, mean, sassy, negative, grumpy, combative, bitch face, yeah. All right, so anyways, now this is not the first time that this has happened to me. I have like a awful, horrible morning. Like I can't even stand myself. Like if I was on the the edge of a cliff, I might just do myself a favor, you know what I mean? And then from that place of like just negative to the most annoying level, like I'm literally tortured by my own negativity somehow. And all I can do is give you the analogy of stretching a rubber band as far as it will go. I somehow get launched into one of the best afternoons. So next time I'm a total... (laughs) Next time I'm a total cunt, I am going to get very happy and excited because I'm just going to be like, you know what? I am so awful today. Something amazing must be coming. (laughs) I am just downright terrible. Something I should get excited, right? So anyways, um, first a little apology, like, sorry, like I know, like sometimes I go to the ringer and I'm like, come along with me. And, and like, sometimes, like, I'm like, I hate you. (laughs) Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I hate you. And, but that's okay. Because, like, I should have actually just done another podcast, like, yesterday around two and been like, just kidding. I love you. Like, well, actually, like, I did hate you this morning, but now I love you. So I had a fantastic day yesterday. And I felt like I was allowed to hang out with an archangel today. So here's the thing, Um, I decided to leave my house yesterday, just like this happened like a couple of months ago, remember I was nasty and then like I was like, all right spirit, you take over because I fucking hate myself and it led me to like somebody that was like parked alongside the road and she was having an anxiety attack and then it just felt like my day was so guided by Archangel Michael and you know all this and that. Well, and then I ended up having a beautiful experience. Well, so yesterday I felt like, all right, spirit, I hate myself. I got to get out of this house. And I went down to, um, a engine swap meet, right? Roughnecks. Okay. I went down hung out with a bunch of old, old man roughnecks. And I was in such a good mood. I loved these people. I loved everybody. I, I made a new friend, like, I got myself a necklace and and new rocks because there was a guy there, Joe Graham, and he worked with flint. I bought myself a flint knife. Like it was a really like fun day. Um, my friend Andrew was down there, and like we just had a good time. Now what's hilarious to me now? Okay, so like my day got better, and you know, end of story, right? Well, today I'm like, well, let's hang out with an archangel and we'll see um, who it is. And it's Archangel Sandalphon. And I'm just wondering if that's who helped me yesterday because I walked like miles upon miles yesterday, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Like I have not walked that much in a long time. And I was walking in my old winter boots because that's just like what you wear. <laughs> and, um, and uh, sandal fawn, you know, you, you definitely feel a connection to your feet with this with this archangel, sandal fawn. 
And um, I don't know, that's just kind of funny. But anyways, thanks for coming back if you came back. I feel like I probably ran some people away yesterday and that's okay. Cause like I often do that and I'm just like, well, if you can't handle me, like, you know, oh well. But if you have been handling me now for a couple of years, has it been a couple of years? We're like over 300 podcasts, at least at least a good year and a half-ish, maybe two years. But then even before that, like some people are here because they've known me, they really have known me for years and they have went to my live streams and they've been on my YouTube channel and all that. Anyways, if you have been putting up with me for years, you'll just probably be like, well, you know, we, we expect this of you. Where is the moon? <laughs> <laughs> right every once in a while we, we understand Sadie um, so anyways I just appreciate you putting up with me that's what it comes down to I appreciate you um, being able to handle me because most men cannot <laughs> so I appreciate you and I appreciate all my lady listeners and my few dudes my few dudes I appreciate you too as well so you guys are the strongest of the strong and yeah if you're hanging out with me I think that is a truth okay so speaking of strongest of the strongs <laughs> Archangel Sandalphon actually has a message of gentleness so I feel like that is what kind of energy touched me yesterday that came in like it was like, oh, Sadie, you just can't go on hating, hating and resenting and, you know, being whatever that was. Maybe I shouldn't do a morning pot. Like if I'm going to start waking up grumpy, like if that's going to be my new, my new black, um, maybe like I need to wait till the afternoon to record my podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm just, I'm just threatening myself. If you're gonna wake up and be a bitch to your listeners, um, <clears throat> you might you might have to wait till after lunch. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there for myself because it was such a drastic change in energy and mood and maybe I just needed to get it out um, or whatever. But it's like, like I don't even feel like I, w I am the same person that I was yesterday morning. And I think I could probably claim that all the time. Like, all the time like I don't feel like I'm the same person anymore like I feel like oh I'm a new person now like 10 minutes later new person now new person now <laughs> so anyways this is what Sandal Fawn wants to hang out with um, us today about he wants to talk about gentleness he wants to talk about gifts from God he wants to talk about the miracle of prayer and then victory so he is, he's got, I've got three cards from Doreen Virtue and her um, Archangel Oracle cards. And then I have got the one from Angel Prayers, Kyle Gray. And um, yeah, in all of them, he's like blonde haired, beautiful dude. Yeah, totally beautiful blonde haired dude. He's, he's got a really kind of like emo haircut in the Miracle of Prayer. And he's, he, that's actually the one he looks the toughest in. He's like kind of got like copper and you know that aqua green that gets on copper. I know because oh my god I saw it yesterday on the old engines. You know how like old metal sometimes gets that beautiful green. I don't know is it rust? I have no idea. Literally I did not just put this together until now. He literally looks like an engine. Well, he doesn't look like an engine, but like his suit and wings are brown, like rusty red brown. And it's got that fantastic old, 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 beautiful. Yeah, it's like a light aqua green. Do you know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen that on? I could, I could go down and take a picture for you. Um, oh, my gosh. He was with me yesterday. I'm I'm convinced now. And he says the miracle of prayer. And, um, you know, in a way, every time that I am a sassy bitch, in a way, even if I'm doing it consciously or unconsciously, I'm praying 
to heaven, to God, to the universe, to my higher self, to whoever the fuck will listen, please help me get out of this foul ass mood, right? So anytime something is not quote good in your life or you're suffering or you're just uncomfortable and agitated, like it's like you're praying, you're asking in that moment. That's what a prayer is. You're asking for something better, you know? And so we can say, thank you, Sandal Fawn, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Um, so he wants to talk about that. Then just gentleness, right? Um, Sandal Fawn says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. And so, yeah, that's exactly what I did yesterday. All right, so let's get to know Archangel Sandalfon and um, see what he has to impart um, in our experience right now and see what wisdom and guidance and the miracle of prayer. Now, I, I would have to say, like me personally, I do a lot more unconscious prayer. <laughs> like I said, like sometimes maybe I don't even know that I'm asking or summoning guidance and I think I would like to get a little bit better about that because I tell you all the time like you got to ask for help you got to ask for guidance um one of those things that like I know I know this I say it we get it and we get that message all the time in the oracle cards but then like do I forget to do it mm, sure probably so anyways thank you sandal fine for delivering my prayers to heaven so let's see um Let's just, let's jump to like um, learning more who this archangel is. Sandalfon is the master of song. Huh? Sandalfon is the master of song and the archangel who delivers our prayers to heaven. He is the angelic postman who ensures that our positive thoughts, prayers, and intentions are received by the divine. He has a copper aura and is the twin brother of Metatron. Really? <laughs> okay, that's what Kyle Gray says. He has the powerful ability to help us connect with God and the angels in a level-headed and grounded way because he was once human. He knew so much that when it came to his passing, he ascended to heaven and was transformed into an archangel. You are blessed to receive his guidance. Very interesting. I'm, I'm also going to be um, interested to what Doreen Virtue says too um, about him with, with uh, gentleness and victory. Like I opened up the book right to victory. It says, working with Archangel Sandalfon. Sandalfon is one of the two archangels who were mortal men who lived such remarkable spiritual lives that they ascended into archangeldom. The other one is Metatron. Sandalfon can help your life be a masterpiece as well. Ask him to help you live in integrity with your spiritual gifts of prophecy, healing, and manifestation fully awakened. Sandalfon can help you speak your truth openly in a way that benefits everyone. He'll also help you to appreciate all of the miracles and victories of every size in your life. Um, okay, so like, you know, I did start this podcast off apologizing to you uh, for my nastiness yesterday. But then at the same time, it almost falls into a, like a hashtag sorry, not sorry. Because if I don't allow myself to run at the mouth however I'm feeling, then I start to add filters, unnecessary, and, you know, filters that hold me back and hold the messages back. So in a lot of ways, it's like, yeah, sometimes I say shit that's so fucked up and I apologize, but then I don't, actually, then I have to take that apology back because if I don't allow myself to do that, I'm limiting the development of my gifts. So yeah, like a lot of times I just have to let myself have permission to just run and run and flow and flow and let everything go, you know, and let my filters go. 
And yeah, that does mean that a lot of times I'm over the top and too much for people, but how else am I going to speak my truth if I don't practice at speaking um, and allowing whatever to come in that needs to come in, come in? Okay, I like really took the long way around <laughs> to explain that. <laughs> but that's just the whole point. Like, that's what I am here to practice doing. Um, fully awakening my spiritual gifts. So it's not that like I'm going to become like someone who makes prophecies, but I am an oracle reader or whatever, inspirer, or, or, or I don't know what you'd call me, teacher, student, friend, like person to bring in words. <laughs> I'm a talker, okay? Um, that's what I've signed up for. I talk. And that's how I'm going to do my healing work and help other people do their healing work and hopefully manifest um, a more preferred reality for myself and others, right? That's how I'm going to save the world by running at the mouth. So anyways, it's like if I want to have those gifts come into their full glory, I have to let it run. I really do. And so... It's like, hey, you got to feel your feelings. And if I would have showed up yesterday and lied to you and said that I was happy and rainbow, light, cheerful, positive, glorious God being when I wasn't feeling like that, I mean, who's that serving? You don't come here for me to be fake. And, um... And so anyways, I'm just justifying my nastiness yesterday. But then in a way, like, you know, sometimes I got to be nasty to really appreciate how I can also be very gentle. And that's another thing that Sandal Fawn wants to talk about. So yeah, um, I do. It just is, you just have to accept yourself. I have to just accept myself. We all just have to accept ourselves um, without judgment, without hesitation, without trying to make ourselves be something that we're not in that moment. You know, there are, there are certainly things that, you know, like you can, you don't have to be ridiculous. Like, you know, um, like if you're feeling nasty, you don't have to do anything ridiculous. Like you can let some of these feelings pass. However, you got to feel the way you're feeling. And once I felt like once I let you have it yesterday and let myself have it, and I'm sure there's someone who's like, I didn't even notice any of this. <laughs> God bless you. Um, like once I let those feelings out, what happened? I lined up with more beautiful energy because I processed my shit. And then I opened up a door for, you know, something nicer or something better. All right, so uh, let's get back to talking about the miracle of prayer, though. Whew. So the angels want us to know that the prayers that we have sent to heaven have been heard. Okay, your prayers have been heard. They are encouraging you not to ask for help, but to accept it. So you don't have to keep asking. Like, you're like, I'm, I'm still praying for that. Well, honey, those prayers have already been delivered. Don't get stuck in the asking. Now you need to get into the accepting, okay? They send an answer to every prayer you send in their direction and are encouraging you to fill your prayers with loving thoughts and, and gratitude. So they are sending answers, but you need to accept them. And you can keep on praying, they say, but make sure it's like more like a prayer of gratitude and just like, I love, I love, I love. That's what I went to bed saying. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. Like I just kept repeating it and that's how I fell asleep. Instead of asking for specifics in your prayers, thank the angels for guiding you to the best possible outcome for your highest good. 
Ooh, so anyways, Sandal Fawn just wants to talk to those of you right off the bat who may be feeling like your prayers aren't being heard. Okay, um, I we can feel like that, but I guess that's not true. Okay, um, they have been heard, they've been delivered, and now the angels, your angels, are encouraging you to shift your perceptions and see that prayer isn't about hoping the future delivers the answer, but knowing the answer is already here and coming to you now in the present moment. So it's like I have it's like that message that we received from the trees this week. We have everything that we need now and what we need in the future is already coming to us. Like it's already on the way. We don't need to worry about the future. We need to just accept the goodness that's here right now and know that more is coming, right? More gifts from God are coming. But what we do right here, right now is open our arms to receive. Uh, let's see what else it says. Um, Archangel Sandal Fawn is drawing close to you at this time and is here to help you formulate your prayers to heaven in a positive and loving way so that you can get the best help from above so if you don't feel like you're like you're like i don't know about I'm, I'm not even praying right or if i'm that you know well why don't we ask and and well, archangel who's ann ann can you help me um ask archangel sandal fawn to help formulate our prayers, okay? Um, you know, and then you'll feel better. But what you need to do is pray and trust. Angels are always listening. So pray and trust. Have that perfect faith. And then open our arms to receive. To receive. All right, so let's talk about those gifts from God um, because that's what we want to receive. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Ooh, heaven is expansive and ever increasing. One of the ways in which heaven expands is through giving and sending love continuously. This love is sent your way in many forms and your only task is to be willing to receive that's your only task I love I receive right now the answers to your prayers await your willing receptivity open your arms to receive these gifts your Creator wills that you be happy healthy secure and that all your needs will be provided. Release any fears of receiving to me. So yeah, I mean, like that's what I did yesterday. I woke up, I was completely constricted and grumpy and closed down and thinking that the universe didn't support me because humans don't. And I'm still pretty sure that humans don't, but the universe does and God does. <laughs> Anyways, so what did I have to do? Get into the receiving mode. And so I went outside, I received the gifts of beauty, I liked the trees, I met the best possible people to be around that day for me. Whew. So anyways, Archangel Sandalfon, yeah. Uh, one of his principal roles is to deliver and answer our prayers. Sandalfon says that every prayer is heard and answered. Although the answer may come in different form than we expected. So be open to receiving different solutions than you thought. Like maybe there's an answer to your prayer that you had not conceived of, but it's still a pretty good solution and still a very good gift. So be open to receiving all types of, you know, gifts from God. All prayers are of equal importance in heaven, and there are plenty of angels to help everyone on earth. Call on Sandalfon when you need help in allowing yourself to receive. So it's like if you just suck at receiving, 
um, say sandal fun, Archangel sandal fun, please help me be a better receiver. Like, let me receive compliments. Let me receive gifts. Let me receive the love that heaven is continuously flowing, giving, right? Because that's what heaven does. Unconditional love. It's just ever expanding because it's forever giving of its unconditional loving energy. That's just what it does, baby. So anyways, it's like, whew. Ask for help if you need it, and then be gentle with yourself, right? Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Archangel Sandalfon says, surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So, you know, you wouldn't think going to an antique engine show, you'd think like, oh God, what a bunch of roughnecks. And yeah, some of them are. But also, like, you know, I hung out yesterday with Amish people. I hung out yesterday um, with my new friend Joe Graham, who makes Native American um, creations, right, and works with stones. I hung out with my friend Andrew, who genuinely cares for me. I hung out with all the old, old farts yesterday, all these old guys that have all this gentle energy and... It was, you know, for me, I have to realize that like sometimes I really do need to like be around old men because I don't have that in my life. You know, my grandpa died 18 years ago and I never had a dad. And, you know, like so sometimes it's very nurturing for me to be around grandpas because I just need that. I enjoy that on some level. So I really was guided once I allowed myself to get out of my house and get out of my mood. I really was guided to be around gentle people. And it was wonderful. Ah, so Archangel Sandalfon wishes to help you to feel peaceful and centered. And he strongly advises that you begin by listening to gentle music. So if you don't really relate, you're like, I don't really relate to the word gentleness. Like, Maybe like you could invite that into your life a little bit more with um, some gentle music. Yeah. So what, cause like where, I can't remember which entry, like we said, like he is, he said something about songs with him, right? Was that maybe the Kyle Gray one? He was like, yeah, where'd that go? Sandalfon is the master of song and the archangel who delivers our prayers to heaven. So yeah, in this gentleness picture, he is holding like a little, I don't know, is that a ukulele? Like a teeny tiny guitar type of instrument that he holds to his chest and plays. Is that a ukulele? I don't really know my instruments. Um, in the victory, he's blowing a big, long golden horn. Um, so yeah, he likes music, and he would like us to listen to some calm, gentle music. Sandal Fawn, what do you what do you think of the music that I was listening to last night? So I got some new ones on um my Spotify. Hold on, let me tell you some names here. So um okay, here's one that I was loving last night. It's called No Goodbye. No Goodbye by Paul Kalkbrenner. K-A-L-K. B R E N N E R. Kalk. Walk. Kalk. Walk. Kalk. I don't know how you'd even say your name, Paul. Paul Kalkbrenner. And, anyways, it's No Goodbye. So, like, I loved that one. And then the other ones are, like, hard to say because they're just electronic, like, European songs. Cadenza. Let's Go. Sail Away. Air France, <laughs> and then I've been listening to a Japanese version of the popular um, Say So song that lyrics are so sleazy, so I just listen to it in Japanese instead. Return to Innocence, Enigma, that was one from one of our last hangouts. All right, anyways, let me close all this, <laughs> or else I'll stop and dance, but yeah, I love that one by Paul, whatever the fuck his last name is, because it just so it just is so good. It's just so good. All right, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, Archangel Sandalfon 
um, strongly advises that we begin by listening to gentle music. Well, that's kind of sometimes as gentle as it gets for me with music. But yeah, see, I love electronic music that you like, it does have a beat, but there are some parts of it that are very flowy and dancey and moving, and then it picks up and then it flows again. So um, yeah, I probably could benefit from playing an instrument. Um, I do have a wooden flute that every once in a while I, I try to play, or not try, or just try to let myself be open to playing without thinking about playing it because like I'm not a musician so you just have to go by your intuition and enjoy making sounds um, so anyways let's see what else he says play it wherever you go oh, okay so like well you know what I have been doing this angel archangel sandal font yesterday I had Nora and pure um, on SoundCloud on the speakers by my desk here um, I had her um, purified radio shows just playing one after the other because I love them. They are good background music of purified radio, Nora and Pure. She's done like over 200 of them. It'll keep you busy. <laughs> so yeah, like I love that and I love keeping it playing. So it's like you just walk in the room, it's already playing. Um, <clears throat> okay, so anyways. But let's talk about manifesting more gentleness. Talk quietly. Play this gentle music wherever you go. Engage in slow rhythmic movements such as swaying to music or a gentle yoga session. So yeah, just bringing more gentleness in. Oh, just gentle, gentle it up. Gentle it down. Gentle it, gentle it all around. Don't engage in battles at this time. No, we're not battling. We're not engaging in battles at this time. Not even with ourselves. Instead, retreat from conflict while you revive your spirit and become even stronger. So I guess like that's what the paradox is. It's like you actually become stronger when you learn how to be more gentle. Now, he also says delay decision-making at this time. You'll know exactly what to do when you emerge from your gentle retreat. You'll know exactly what to do when you emerge from your gentle retreat. So, yeah, it's like if things just aren't clear, you know, and that's a really good place to put yourself in the receiving mode. So you pray, know and trust that Spirit has delivered your prayers and is actively answering them right in the moment you ask it is given but then you have to get into the receiving mode and if you're uptight and bitch face what are you going to let in not much your good ideas are like standing at the door knocking but you can't hear but like you, then you let yourself get gentle get quiet get moving get flowing get open and guess what slides in there the answers to your prayers that you have been waiting for, but it was actually just waiting for you to be a receptive match, to hear it, to receive. So yeah, gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. You know, heaven, like I said, heaven is expansive and ever increasing and it's always giving love continuously. But are you letting it in? Are you letting it in? So let the gentleness, the music, the, you know, maybe do a little whatever yoga, stretching, um, let yourself help yourself get in the receiving mode so you can receive the gifts from God. All right, so how could you work with Archangel Sandalfon more? His aura is calming in a cool shade of turquoise, like the translucent tropical ocean. Meditate upon this color or hold the stone, turquoise, you know, that's associated with his energy. Hold the turquoise and feel your heart rate and breathing become quieter. So just allow yourself to be in that turquoise color or light, or if you have a turquoise, 
connect with it or just visualize the turquoise. Feel your heart rate and breathing become quieter. Sandal fun can help your words and actions to be kind and gentle, yet powerful. As the Archangel associated with music, you can feel his presence strongly when you listen to music, sing, or play a musical instrument. <laughs> so anyways, I feel like did we i'm jumping all over the place with sandal fawn like i'm like what haven't i we talked about did we talk about victory our prayers have been heard and answered have faith right have faith i don't think we we talked about this because it says you deserve this time of victory <laughs> yeah i didn't say that yet <laughs> right let that sink in that idea, that thought, that concept, that belief. You deserve this time of victory. You are worthy. Your unwavering focus and dedication have resulted in blissful manifestation. So we've been showing up. We've been doing our work. We've had unwavering focus and dedication to our path of light. And now that we learn how to become gentle and get into the receiving mode. We can receive our gifts from God and have these beautiful results that they say blissful manifestations, right? Blissful manifestations. What does that mean? Peace, pleasant feelings, peace and pleasant feelings are blissful manifestations. Feeling at peace is a gift from God. Peace and pleasant feelings are yours right now. So let your focus be on this present moment and savor each feeling and experience fully. Know that the future is taken care of in a positive way as you allow yourself to enjoy the present moment. Feel good about who you are and know that your success benefits others. Whoa. All right. So what you're like, what am I supposed to do? All right. Number one, let your focus be on this present moment. Number two, savor each feeling and experience fully. Number three, know that the future is taken care of in a positive way as you allow yourself to enjoy the present moment. And number four, feel good about who you are and know that your success benefits others. So don't limit your success. Don't hold back from being successful because you think, I don't know what the fuck you think, but it's like people are like, oh, I don't wanna do too well. <laughs> I don't want anyone to be jealous of me or whatever. Honey, your success benefits everyone, okay? We need everyone to be successful. So if you are one of the lucky ones who can, who can lead the way, do so. And know that your success benefits others. So feel good about who you are. All right, I think we've got a good grip on who Archangel Sandal Fawn is and what he can help us with. And, you know, he can help us learn how to pray better. He can help us just know that our prayers are being delivered. He can help us gentle up, gentle down, gentle, gentle all around. He can help us open up and receive and um, really feel good about who we are and feel good about our blessings and our gifts and our um, spiritual talents and our blissful manifestations and know that those are all signs of being victorious victorious in the light it's like woohoo what do I get you get peace you get peace honey <laughs> that's your victory prize you get the sense of feeling good and being at peace 
and really enjoying this present moment and really feeling so well taken care of and in this moment and all the now moments to come. All right, so let's get some herbs and messages from our angelic herb, Archangel Sandalphon. <laughs> um, because he's like gentle and he talked about environments and actually it was a song. I was, I thought of the eco heart Oracle because there's this little bird in this, there's a card in here in this deck that has a little bird, maybe the thrush. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but I always think of this deck because this deck taught me that like, you know, how to find your own song, your own sound. And I'm pretty sure it's this deck. And then it has uh, an interesting exercise you can do. And you may have done it with me before. If you've, got, if you've tolerated me for a really long time, you've definitely done this with me before. You take three really good breaths, you know, like inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then on the fourth breath, you inhale, but then on the and then, and then on the exhale, you open your mouth and allow whatever sound to come out. Like as you get into that relaxed state, you let out your own sound on that last fourth breath, you know, not trying to make it sound any other way than what it actually does sound. So you really have to like let yourself relax and let your song come through. So that'd be awesome if we pulled that card, but um, if, even if we don't, I'm gonna tell you about it now because it really was obviously something that uh, made an impression on me because I always think of it when I think of the Eco Heart Oracle deck by Ingrid Kavakanas. I'm just making up her name every single time. And then I also grabbed the Hedgewitch Botanical Oracle as well because like, you know, we had this this message of gentleness and gifts from God and the artwork with the Hedgewitch Botanical Oracle by Solo Thompson is very simple and gentle and you know it's just really a, a sketch she like sketched the flowers on a white card and a little watercolor like here and there to accent but it's very like simple and plain and gentle and like it's not like in your face um, and the messages are pretty gentle, you know, like some of my herbs, I don't really feel like he wants um, to talk about any type of shit, you know, like I don't really feel like he wants us to like focus on the negative, like we're, we're supposed to be stepping more towards the light with every breath, with every dance and song and walk and uh, perception and really trying to get into that receiving mode that gentle receiving mode getting into a prayer state of prayer everything that we do is an embodied prayer and the prayer on our lips is one of thanks and gratitude and you know what you guys if we could actually be beautiful humans like that even if it's just like part of the day uh, that is victorious so have perfect faith that you know good things are coming to you and you yourself are a good thing you are the gift okay thank you sandal fun all right so um i'm just gonna get out this eco eco heart oracle it doesn't have to be long we could just get a couple if you want um i'm gonna go on an afternoon walk and then have a little fire at my friend's house it's like 50 degrees, but it's just so nice to be outside. Okay, Sandal Fawn. What type of gifts? Yeah, he's like, look at everything that we pulled today as a gift. Whether it's a plant or a bird or a spirit. Okay. Coming up off the bottom and the top. We're gonna pull two. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna put them up there. And then he says we might only be pulling one botanical herb. We'll see. We'll see. But he's saying like maybe just one down at the bottom. 
because it is it is noon. Oh, and I looked over and it's 444 on the ticker. So sweet, angel numbers. Um, all right, thank you. I just feel like saying thank you again um, because Sandal Fawn, if that was you that helped me yesterday, you really did help me get into more more gentle spirit, a more gentle place. And um, yeah, my prayer was please allow me to quit torturing myself, you know, and really start to see things with eyes of appreciation and the eyes of love. And, um, you know, it was good to hang out with my lover turned friend just on a, just solely on a friendly basis yesterday because that was very healing for me. Um, and I really feel like this week I've made a lot of progress, a lot of leaps and bounds. And and it's like you might have a bad day where you act nasty or a bad morning and you think, oh, I'm not making any progress at all. But actually, you've made so much progress that there was just some residual irritations that we wanted to purge. And so we can always look at things from a higher perspective exactly like that. Okay, so the two cards, uh, I don't know which one was top, which one was bottom, now that, I've ha now that I've laid them out, but they came out together. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are perfect. We got the snail and the elk. So we didn't bring in a plant, um, and I think you'll understand why. The snail has a message of tranquility and the elk has a message of Earth's heartbeat. So what Archangel Sandalphon wants us to do, you know, in a lot of ways is like with that gentleness, he wanted us to play music, listen to gentle music, sway to the rhythm, get grounded, um, connect with that beautiful flowing energy. Heaven is always continuously nonstop, forever and ever, giving love, loving, connecting with love. And um, yeah, to have a message of tranquility and the earth's heartbeat, like slow down and become so sweet that you are in sync with the earth's heartbeat. So yesterday, um, you may have seen my video on my YouTube channel, I got a necklace and it's made out of a turkey spur. And um, the turkey is sometimes referred to as, you know, earth eagle. <laughs> and so anyways, I feel like there's always, of course, an, a message from the earth or the energy of the earth for us to connect with. But I really feel like the invitation for us to connect with a very grounded earth energy, very peaceful earth energy is here, you know, and the elk walks on the earth and the snail slimes on the earth. And I have to laugh because like I've been putting together a little garden space in this little dog fence for myself, a little playpen. I'm creating a garden rock, a rock garden playpen for my, some of my uh, container gardening. But anyways, some of the rocks, I'm like, what is this beautiful glitter? I was like, what is this beautiful glitter streak across the rock? And then I realized what it was. It's just snail slime. Yeah, but it dries glittery and it's pretty. <laughs> so I love it. And also on this snail, is there a big um, Buddha statue above it with his hand up? So we've got some Buddha energy. And I just feel like Archangel Sandalphon is just such a beautiful energy to get us going for the week here at Ho because we're going to manifest more serenity this Wednesday with our herb of the week that's going to be lavender. And the elk is is standing in front of a starry sky. And it's, it's so many lavender colors in the cosmic um, starscape. It's really beautiful. And even behind Buddha, it's a lavender kind of sky. And I know Archangel Sandalphon's color is aqua and turquoise, but also like in his gifts from God, there's like lots of purples and all these beautiful calming colors. Even the tough guy with his arms crossed um, up there and the miracle of prayer, his copper turquoise aqua vibe is also very calming. 
Yeah, everything is definitely absolutely calm and gentle and victorious. And you don't maybe don't necessarily think of a snail in an elk, but um, they they too resonate with that vibration. So the elk is all about the earth's heartbeat. And it says, do you hear and trust the messages that are being delivered to you daily through your senses and your intuition? Do you trust your guidance? Do you trust your messages? Do you trust um, your synchronicities? Do you hear them? Do you see them? Are you experiencing them? Like this whole turkey spur thing, that was the video I posted this morning. You know, why was I, I, um, you know, wanting to see this or buy this turkey spur? I was so drawn to it. And then I come home and I read about it in my uh, animal spirit book and you know I, I'm, I see how the turkeys are animals of community and they rely on each other and their safety in numbers and I really was like taking it as a synchronistic intuitive message that I do need community I love community I loved being with people yesterday and yeah I do have a habit of getting myself super isolated and um, but yet you know I really have to take time to just be with people you know really I do so anyways and then this morning like I just laughed so much when the Arcturian message like they said the word spurred and they've never said the word spurred and I just bought a turkey spur yesterday and I already think that the Arcturians are spying on my life <laughs> And so I just thought that was great. So yeah, do you hear and trust the messages that are being delivered to you daily through your senses and your intuition? So yeah, it's like this card is asking you, like, when was the last time you were in sync with your surroundings and with the earth? Like, do you feel like you could get more in sync with the earth? Right, because if you can, you will even see that many more gifts from Earth, from Spirit, from God, from the universe. Mm. Warm tea, that's a gift. <laughs> so um, I want to read you the channeled message that Ingrid, the vision that Ingrid had. I'm standing in a clearing with Earth Mother. She calls on Elk to join us. He bellows to his herd who begin to encircle us in Elk energy. Energy like a wave moves through the circle and ends at a big bull Elk who paws the earth with his hoof signaling that he will speak. Bend your ear to the earth and listen. Put your ear to a tree. What do you hear? Touch the earth and remember how to listen to the messages that are being broadcast daily. All of our hearts are aligned with the heartbeat of Mother Earth. The heartbeat of the earth can be accessed through the drum. So here I thought I was going to have to play a fucking ukulele. No, I can actually get a drum. Thank you, <laughs> baby Jesus. <laughs> All right. Come on, gentleness, Sadie. Just pretend. Um, so the earth's heartbeat, more music coming in with Archangel Sandalphon, getting in sync, your heartbeat in sync with the earth's. Um, you can access this through drumming. Through the drum maybe some of your gentle music could be gentle drumming um understanding that all of nature is in sync together and once we remember that we too are nature that will be another notch in our victorious belt right our belt of victory we'll put another notch in that um, when we can finally sync up to the earth energy so yeah the first nations people in the plains um 
who dream of elk carry the healing medicine of love. To the Arctic Sami, the shaman's drum symbolizes an elk or reindeer that the shaman rides on a cosmic journey to contact helping spirits. The drum also symbolizes the shaman's very soul. Oh my gosh, now we must, now we must make drums. Um, so anyways, make a drum, find a drum, borrow a drum, and begin to play a heartbeat upon it. Allow yourself to be lost in the rhythm, to enter a space where you are not separate, a space where you are in the river of the flow of the earth and your heartbeat and your heart beats along with every other living being. Wow, you guys. So Sandalfon really does want to focus on the music, on the rhythm, on the flow, on the drum, on the heartbeat for us getting in sync with the earth itself because we are of the earth right now. These bodies go back to the earth. We're just borrowing them for a little bit. Um, so anyways, how sweet is that? Um, how peaceful is that? How tranquil is that? The snail comes in and the snails here has a message of tranquility and a message for you. You are a sacred. You are a sacred and here to experience love and tranquility to the highest degree possible. Learn to still your mind and seek peace within yourself. So yeah, the victorious um, award is that of peace, peace within experiencing love and tranquility to the highest degree possible. How good can we feel? How much peace can we experience and hold and radiate and be? How much love can we give out, right? Can you be your own personal heaven in the aspect that heaven is continuously sending love. Can you expand yourself through the energy of heaven, through the energy of continuously giving love? The more love you give, the more you become. The more you become who of who of who you truly are, of who you really be. Who I, that little bitch yesterday, that's not actually who I am. And that's why it's so uncomfortable to have those moments, because I know better. On some level, I know better. You guys, we are love. We are love, love, love. Now, let's not laugh too hard at myself, but the snail says, have you been feeling unsupported and left out lately? Yeah, that was definitely my mood yesterday. Unsupported and left out of, you know, prosperity, <laughs> basically. Um, or have you been feeling like you've been left behind or passed over for some reason? So yeah, I was really pissed at my dead grandma for, for taking my name out of her will the before she died like the year before she died which just fyi my cousins who greatly influenced her to do that will be responsible um for that at some point do you know what i mean like I, for me to be in a well but then an old lady is in her last year of life and she's not thinking clearly and she's and she is maybe she was manipulated or encouraged in her place of not thinking clearly to take me out of her inheritance. Oh yeah, that energy will be returned. Absolutely. But anyways, I wasn't I pissed about it yesterday? <laughs> Old shit coming back to haunt you. 
but we gotta let it all go. We gotta let it all go. Um, the Oracle reminds you that you are a beautiful person and a precious being. You are sacred and here to experience love and tranquility to the highest possible degree. So yeah, that's why Snail and Buddha, because Buddha's on the card too, says learn to still your mind and seek peace within yourself. Now, what's up with Buddha and the snail? The Bud In Buddhist mythology, snails climb onto Buddha's head to protect him from the heat as he approached enlightenment. Oh my God, I would freak out if a snail crawled on my head. I'd be like, sorry, enlightenment. I just, I just cannot. <laughs> Like, I would just be like, oh my God, get it off of me. I'd forget enlightenment. It's not worth it. Get the snail off my head. Anyways, in mythology, that's the story that, you know, the sun's heat. Um, as he uh, approached enlightenment, it doesn't actually say the, oh yeah, it says to protect him from the heat as he approached enlightenment. Um like for one, for some reason, for a second there, like I was like, I don't think that was actually the sun on the sky. I was like, is that like, does, is it very warm? Is enlightenment a very, like as you're becoming light, that might actually be hot? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it probably is just the sun. But for a second there, I got weird. All right, snail shells are spiral in nature, symbolizing expanding consciousness. Snail is a lunar creature and in Aboriginal cultures is associated with the waxing and waning of the moon. Snail shells are spiral in nature. Yeah, she wrote that twice, symbolizing expanding consciousness. Um, so yeah, amazing. Just sacred geometry, mathematical genius. What's up, snail? We don't have snails around here, really. We have slugs, which, you know, they're not homeowners. <laughs> they don't have a shell. But anyways, very cool. So here's her channeling. And then we'll see if he wants to bring in an actual herb today. Or if this is like angelic. This is a special episode of angelic snails. Angelic elk and snail. All right. So here's what she visioned for this card. Hot white light. In my third eye, sudden, immense peace. The sound of inhaling and exhaling. The feeling of being supported and held by the energy of the cosmos. I see Buddha meditating, his third eye blazing like the hot sun. A snail slowly inching up his leg, called by the white light to protect Buddha as he reaches enlightenment. The snail, with his spiral's shell, is slow and small, but he has been called upon to carry out a great mission. So actually, it was kind of appropriate that I was feeling like I was getting a little weird, a little woo-woo. Because, yeah, like this this hot white light is like blazing um, in his third eye. So, yeah, it's not just like, oh, geez, the snails are going to protect my bald Buddha head from getting a sunburn. <laughs> it was like, it's like maybe actually like helping his body bring in this ultimate white light dang all right let's get out of, let's get out some herbs whoa you've, I'm out of my comfort zone no really though I mean we really do have to like get meditating get serene get gentle get open because you know from what I hear more and more and more light is being sent to us from the higher realms, from spirit, from source, from creator, from God, from the central sun. I mean, 
It's described in a lot of different ways. And are you going to open yourself and receive it and become it? Or are you like just going to let it burn you up? <laughs> All right, let's get in. Our, on that note, let's get in the herb. Sandal fawn. I got to go hang out at my friend's house. <laughs> Give us an herb. But I'm so happy that you're here. And I'm so happy that you saved me from myself yesterday. And I'm so happy that you led me into a more gentle, peaceful space with gentle, peaceful people. <sighs> okay. Talk about blazing sunshine. We've got St. John's Wort. Reversed. But here's the thing. It looks fantastic reversed. It looks like little suns coming down to us. The herb that Archangel Sandalfon wanted to bring in is St. John's Wort. An herb that literally absorbs and holds the energy of the sunshine with its like little like leaves that have, you know, like little perforations in them and they I mean you hold it up it's like they've got little holes in them almost that like let in the light and how do we use St. John's wort in the winter months when the we are struggling physically with the lack of light emotionally we're struggling emotionally with lack of light and St. John's wort delivers that sunshine blazes in that beautiful happiness um, that beautiful gift from Mother Nature, St. John's Wort. Yeah, so much sun energy. So when it's upside down like this, it looks like it's ha like coming down, right? Um, it's being delivered. Maybe, maybe we've hung it up to dry, um, you know. I don't know why, because I stand out in the yard and I clip it right into the mason jar and then I get that vodka on it. And I get that red tincture brewing because I would never even attempt winter at this point without St. John's Wort. Like, wow. So the message coming in is stabilize. Is to stabilize. So now we have to honor the fact that it is reversed. So he's saying that it's like, listen, the reason you got the elk and the reason you got the snail is because you need to stabilize your energy better. You need to sync up with the earth's heartbeat. You need to get a drum and remember that you are part of nature. You are nature. So you should be in sync with all of us, right? Like the circle of elk, all the snails on Buddha's head. It's like, listen, Oh my God, is that why he has that weird hat like that? Are those actually snails? The whole world's just made more sense. <laughs> you know, he has that like bumpy head, head like hair, hair. Those are snail shells. I never realized that. <laughs> it's like you are part of us. You are part of nature. You need to be as grounded as the elk, as grounded as the snail, you know? The snail is literally like gluing itself inch by inch by inch as it slowly, I mean, it's it has a good grip on where whatever it's on. The elk too, standing on four legs. Uh, I did have a deer paw at me at my mom's house the other day and I guess it wanted to speak to me, but I was being a shit and I just like stomped my feet back at it. And then it stomped its feet at me. And then I stomped my feet at it and then it, it ran away. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyways, St. John's work. Um, what else can we say, um, you know, other than we really want to acknowledge that as we enter in, to, it's October now, we're entering into the winter months. This is such a gift from God to help us use it as a mood stabilizer. I personally use it as an antidepressant. 
if you're already on antidepressants from the pharmaceutical machine, you probably can't, you cannot use this herb actually because you're all, you're already doing something and then this might interfere with it. Do your own research, disclaim, disclaim. But anyways, um, so Miss Thompson in her book says, um, with his perfect balance and king, keen, keen judgment, the king of swords is a wonderful companion to this herb as he embodies all the traits of St. John's wort is meant to grant. So this has got like a king of swords type of vibe to it um, because St. John's wort wants to give us a clear mind, focused thoughts and subdued emotions, like just really stability in the greatest, most golden light sense. There are times in life when conflict and upset are unavoidable, usually on the Friday podcasts. And there are times when it is best to not rock the boat. Even during difficult times, a clear and calm approach to problem solving is always advisable. So it's like, this goes back to like, hey, we prayed, we asked for help. You know, um, now we're opening up to our clear and calm problem solving solutions, our approaches, right? We want to go at things as gentle. We do not want to engage. Even though we have the energy of the king of swords, we do not want to use that sword. I bought a knife yesterday that's, um, it's a car, you know, carved knife. It's made out of a white tail deer antler and it's magnificent. And um, I don't ever want to, I don't ever want to have to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want it to honor the fact that, you know, I can energetically release myself from my own negativities. That's what it meant to me. But anyways, so yeah, it's like the message is kind of like, are there stressors in your life? Is there chaotic elements that's preventing you from being gentle and your best self and tranquil and like what's preventing you? Um, let's try to, you know, focus on clear sight. Let's try to focus on how we can get around this. Let's try to focus on stabilizing our energy. Try to focus with clear sight on anything that is bringing more stress than benefit. So let's, like, like Yero said, like let's identify our wounds and then heal them. Maybe there's things that we can delegate to others. Maybe there's things that we can eliminate. Uh, maybe we can, you know, there's always something. Let's be open to the solutions. Stabilizing your life may be as simple as introducing routines or systems that help you keep better track of your time and resources. Now, with that said, now I really have to, <laughs> I was only gonna do the top card, but I looked just for myself to see what was on the bottom card, and it actually is resourcefulness with Huckleberry. So, do I have to talk about that one too? <laughs> so, so St. John's Word is saying like, hey, do what you can with your resource, with, you know, what you've got and see if you can find some more res resources that you can use. So I'm going to put Huckleberry up there. I'm going to put it right beside it, actually. I'm going to just move these other two cards out a little bit. He's like, yep, that's what we're going to do. Um, resourcefulness, Huckleberry. Okay, I would have never told you about that. <laughs> except that the last sentence in the guidebook for St. John's Wort literally says, stabilizing your life may be as simple as introducing routines or systems that help you keep better track of your time and resources. And then I was like, ha ha funny, resourcefulness was literally on the bottom of the St. John's Wort when I pulled it. So yeah, stabilize and then get resourceful. Use your resourcefulness 
to help calm your life, to help find your solutions. Um, what else? To find your peace. What am I looking for? Huckleberry. Huckleberry. That's not something I think about too often. These are also called bilberries. Okay, I think about bilberries definitely way more than huckleberries, um, but maybe they are the same thing, I believe, yeah. Um, yeah, so anyways, these definitely, they don't grow so much around here, but the Pacific Northwest, you'll probably find them a little bit easier if you're foraging, probably find some huckleberry plants. Um, now guess what? Elk will love to eat huckleberries, absolutely. And the, you know, all types of deer and birds and bears and humans. Um, so this is something that bears eat before they hibernate. So as we stabilize, you know, he's saying take care of your body. Take care of your body, right? Get ready for winter by fattening up, not fattening up, but fueling up, nourishing up. You know, make sure that part of your winter seasonal depression isn't because you're lacking B vitamins or nutrients or, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you're doing everything. Be resourceful. Do everything you can to keep yourself in this tranquil, peaceful, gentle, beautiful, connected space, receiving space. Um, so yeah, they're high in vitamin C that boosts the immune system. Huckleberries and bilberries are also an excellent source of vitamin A and B and um, they're good for promoting a healthy metabolism and they prevent heart and eye diseases. And wow, so anyways, nobody has really ever been successful or victorious with farming huckleberries like you can't hardly even domesticate this plant for whatever reason because it's part of nature and that's the way it was intended so you have to just forage for them um like blueberries are domesticated um, but huckleberries are wild and they are similar in taste but the big difference is in their seeds and so huckleberries have a crunchy texture because they have seeds and like they've like probably gotten the seed of the blueberry to become very small or you know how they you know how they do waterless or seedless watermelons <laughs> waterless watermelons ew um seedless watermelons you know huckleberries are staying true to their natural state and they they will not give up their seed but blueberries pretty much did um, so huckleberry is a little more thicker skin and tart flavor. So anyways, that's just a little bit about the huckleberry. You can make jams and stuff with it. But let's talk about resourcefulness. So this is, she she gave it that keyword because it gr will grow on cliff sides. It will grow in loose gravel, rocky ledges, alpine regions, like it snows for half the year huckleberry still will grow there. There could be a forest fire and huckleberries will be the first plant to emerge from the ashy soil. So it is definitely a survivor. Like it's even grown where there's been a volcano, St. Helens volcano eruption. <laughs> so it's like, wow. Um, when Sandalfon was talking about how when we allow ourselves to be gentle and peaceful and calm and we actually become stronger in our strength and you're like how can that be I thought I had to be a tough guy and it's like no actually like being a soft sweetheart is going to make you stronger than anybody so or be like huckleberry be a tart little crunchy sour berry <laughs> sour sweetheart but anyways, so resourcefulness can mean finding ways to turn adversity into opportunity. Like the huckleberry benefiting from increased sun in areas where the forest canopy has been damaged by fire. So it's like, oh, the whole world burnt down. But hey, look at this. I'm actually getting some sunshine now. So there's always a, there's always a way to change your perspective and be like, see the gift 
see the gift from God in every situation. Um, yeah, another kind of resourcefulness is the ability to take what you have and use it to its greatest potential. So this rock playpen garden, container garden that I've built, building for myself or putting together, I literally am creating it from just whatever junk is in the garage and rocks that I already had and containers that I was using, but now they look so much better now that I've artistically placed them. It's like be resourceful, make something from nothing, make something beautiful from what you have, right? <sighs> Create the ability to take what you have and use it to its greatest potential, right? Work with what you've got. The Huckleberry always reminds um, Solo, Solo Thompson, um, reminds her that sometimes success comes from not being the brightest, shiniest, boldest person, but from strategic patience, laying low, hiding under the snow until the right opportunity presents itself. Ooh, interesting. So it's like, yeah, like Sandal Fawn, like, and none of these has been like, like, think about it. We think of Metatron and then we're like, dude, we didn't realize Sandal Fawn was also in that category. Why? Because he kind of lays low. He's just like happy being peaceful and right. So he's like, he's like, yeah, just play your little ukulele. You don't have to always be the lead singer, right? You can add to the music, to the melody, to the drumming. Right? You don't have to be the crazy drummer. You could just be the one that keeps the heartbeat, right? Keeps it going, right? Uh, so yeah, that's an interesting little message too. So anyways, Sandalfon bringing in the elk, the snail, St. John's wort, and huckleberry. Tranquility, earth's heartbeat, and the energies of being stabilized and being very resourceful. Woo! All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me for this special episode of Ho Angelic Herbs. We got the herbs, St. John's Wort, and Bilberry, Huckleberry. Um, and now I need to very peacefully get moving and get ready to go. But thank you, um, Archangel Sandalfon, uh, for just bringing the energy of Buddha in, um, the tranquility of snails, the connectedness and community of elk, um, and the connectedness to the earth's heartbeat, that reminder that we really need and would benefit so much to do. And then that really could just amp up our perfect faith that, you know, our prayers are being heard and delivered and answered and all we really need to do is open up our arms and receive and allow these angels to bring us gifts from our creator and yeah accept them and love them and be grateful and say thank you 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 really archangel sandal thank you